Hi guys, I'm Keris McRobert and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my very first um, YouTube video and I'm really excited. Uh, I usually do a lot of live videos on Facebook and stuff so if you know me from there but I'm going to try and venture out and go into YouTube. So if you want to create this look here then please keep watching. Thank you. Okay so I've already started by already filling in my eyebrows and priming my eyes. Um, if you want to see a tutorial on how I do my eyebrows then please just put in the comments browgate. If you watch any of my live feeds on Facebook then you'll know exactly why it's browgate. Um, but I'm going to be doing a cut crease, quite a glittery cut crease, trying to get us into the Christmas spirit and stuff. So I'm going to be using the Jack Hill palette today and uh, little kind of bits and bobs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Morphe M441 brush and I'm going to choose this colour here, quite a warm kind of orange undertone to it and just go back and forth right into the crease of my eye. And the same this side. Just bring it out at the corners. I think I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing. From there, I'm going to go in with a little bit of a darker colour using my Zoeva 227 brush. Because I want this to be a cut crease, I want the colour to kind of come all the way over my eye. So from there, I'm going to be going in with... I don't know if you can see that doll. This colour. And then I'm going to go in with a really dark brown. So exactly where I put that but I'm not going to go quite as high up in my crease and because this is it's still had quite a dense brush but it's not as thick and fluffy as the other one so that should control where you're actually putting the shadows on your eyes same other side so right in that crease When I've got that colour built up to where I want it, I'm going to go back in my first brush, it's the M441, and I'm not going to put any more um, shadow on it, I'm just going to go in with the brush as it is and lightly go over the edges of that shadow to just make sure that I'm blending it into that first colour that we used because we don't want any harsh lines anywhere. So you'll see there too. The th one thing I will say about the Jaclyn Hill palette is all the shadows blend an absolute dream into each other. Which makes your life a lot easier, especially if you're not confident with doing eyeshadow. Then getting a good shadow palette definitely helps. Okay, so from there, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush again. And this one is the Morphe S12 that type of brush there, you can't really see it. But it's still a fluffy brush, it's just a lot smaller. And I'm going to go in with a darker colour. So I'm going to go in with this brown here, right down the bottom. And the same again, I'm just going to go right over, left to right, keeping it really, really tight in that crease for when we cut it. Once I have that colour as dark as I want it, I'm going to go back in my brushes, so I'm going to go into my middle colour, buff the edges of that one out and then my bigger brush and buff the edges of that one out again. Okay, so from there, what we're going to do now is, I've kind of got all my base colours where I want them, so I'm going to go in and cut the crease. So what I'm going to use for that is just a flat brush which is the Morphe S4 brush, so it's just like that. Oh, that's not going to work. 
Morphe F4 brush, it's just a flat brush. And I'm going to go in with my concealer, which I'm using today is the Maybelline Eye Eraser. Now I'm almost out of this, I use this for everything. So I'm going to take that, some of that, and I'm going to put it in the back of my hand. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and cut the crease so right where your eye opens, you want your crease to be cut. Yeah. What we're going to do now is, I've kind of got all my base colours where I want them. So I'm going to go in and cut the crease. So what I'm going to use for that is just a flat brush, which is the Morphe S4 brush. So it's just like that. Oh, that's not going to work. Morphe F4 brush, it's just a flat brush. And I'm going to go in with my concealer, which I'm using today is the Maybelline Eye Eraser. Now I'm almost out of this, I use this for everything. So I'm going to take that, some of that, and I'm going to put it in the back of my hand. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and cut the crease so right where your eye opens, you want your crease to be cut. So just following the line of the opening of your eye and then taking it around and the reason you want that colour to be so dark in there is so you can see everything that's kind of going on you're not losing any colours and I'm just going to blend it back and then what I'm going to do with the corner is I'm going to just dab it with my finger and then that will blend that harsh line into the shadows and then we'll go back in and tidy it all up. So what I'm going to do, because I've cut the crease, is I'm going to set all of that in place by just using a very, very light <clears throat> shadow, that the colour that I've set my lids with. So just this little one here, I'm just going to go in and just pat it onto that shadow to make sure that it doesn't move anywhere where I'm kind of blending around about it. Then what we're going to use on the lids is this little goodie here. I've not used it before but it's called the Stila Glitter and Glow, the Liquid Eye Shadow. And I've got it in the colour Kitten Karma. So I'm going to put that exactly where I've put that concealer. So I'm just going to go over my eyes. you see it already, it looks tremendous. So I'm just going to, using the wand that it comes in, just going to go over my eyes like that. And it is beautiful. And same the other side, just going to put that off the lid. The applicator is actually really easy to use. Oh, this dog. And it's sitting everything exactly where I want it to sit. Okay, so from there, what we're going to do is like blend these wee bits around. So I'm going to go in with the first brush that I used, which is my Morphe M441, and the first colour that I used, which was this one here. And I'm going to blend all of that in together. So I'm just going to take it and just lightly dust it over that bit of my eye. And then you see all of that kind of coming together in there. So then I'm going to take my second colour, which is this one here on my second brush, dab the excess off and just go in. We're just trying to make sure that this is seamless as it possibly can be. Yeah. And bring that into the crease as well so that everything kind of blends together. And then third brush. Taking it right into the corner and then concentrating it on the crease. Like so. And 
And I'm just going to do a kind of basic liner on this as well. So nothing too over the top. Okay, so for my liner, what I'm going to be using is Makeup Gallery. Just a liquid liner and just going to go really tight to the lash line. Like that. And then I'm going to put my lashes on and come back and finish the face. I'm going to go in with the Fenty by Rihanna and I've bought it in the colour 240. This is the first time I'm ever using it. Never used it before. And I'm going in with my Morphe E44 brush and just putting that. Wow. The pigment is unreal and very dark for my skin. My neck. Because you can always fix it. Not my chest. Honestly, don't think you need to go in with a lot on it. I'm just going to take that around my eyebrows. I'm just going to make sure that's all rubbed in. So, I'm going to go in and do all my concealer. So, again, I'm going to go in with just my eye eraser from Maybelline and the flat brush and put it in a V under my eyes I kind of use concealer for everything so I go through quite a lot these Maybelline sticks down the nose and on the chin. So once I've got the concealer on where I want it, I'm going to go in and just blend that into my skin. So for that, I'm going to use the I'm going to use the Crown C five one seven brush, which is just like this and I'm going to blend all that in so I'm just going to mix it in with that foundation and that will sort out my kind of base colour as well so straight from there I'm going to set it all in place and for that I'm using my Ben Nye Ride or Die um, setting powder it's in the colour Neutral Set and I go through a power of this so what I do is I put a little bit in the lid, a little bit more, so put a little bit in the lid and then I'm going to go in with my <clears throat> Sigma tapered highlighting brush in the F35 and I'm going to put it underneath my eyes. Now what I have noticed is my, uh, my makeup is setting underneath my eyes like really well and it's showing all my wrinkles like we all have so what I've started doing is putting quite a quite a, a hefty amount underneath my eyes and leaving it set which is called baking so I bake underneath my eyes for a good kind of five minutes and then everywhere else I just kind of dust And that sets all of that in place. So the next thing that I've bought is the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. It's called the Match Stick and I bought it in the colour Mocha. So again, it's the first time I'm using this so we'll see how it goes. So from the tip of the ear to the corner of the mouth, I'm going to stop it probably in line with my pupil. Just there. And the same that side. This I feel isn't as smooth 
as the foundation. I feel like I'm kind of pressing on it a little bit to take it all off, but however, it's a little bit around my forehead. And then just a couple of wee dabs along the double chin. And I'm gonna go in with my Zoeva Petite Stippling Brush in the, in the number 122 and just blend that up. Never blend it down on your contour because it will make your cheeks sink and we don't want that. We want them nice and lifted. So, gonna see how the blend is. And it's lovely. It's blending so nicely into that. going to set all that in place and for that I'm going to be using my Beach Bronzer by Urban Decay. I think this was only a summer edition so I don't know, I actually know if they still do it but I love it and I use it all the time and I'm going to use my, you can see it, my 126 Luxe Cheek Finish brush by Zoeva. Zoeva probably one of my favourite brushes to kind of to go to. So I'm just going to use a little bit and lightly over everywhere that I just went with that contour. I am not a fan of blusher. I don't like it. <laughs> a lot of people come in and ask for a lot of blusher and that's entirely up to you. It's personal preference, it's makeup. Like there is no wrongs in makeup at all. I am just not a fan of blusher. So I only use a little bit, just in the kind of apples in my cheeks, just to give me a little bit of colouring. So I go in with the La Femme. I made this palette myself. This looked coral on the internet. It's definitely not coral, it's like brick red. So I'm going to try to go in with this little colour here. Just because there's a kind of brown undertone to it as well, it's not too pinky. So taking a little bit of that on my cream cheek brush from Zoeva, the 128. And I'm just kind of stippling that onto my cheeks. And then my under eyes have been setting for a good like couple of minutes now. So I'm just going to go in with the same brush and just take all that away. And my under eyes are totally set. That's not moving anywhere. And there's going to be no creases in my makeup. My favourite bit is my highlighter and I'm going to use the Becco, Becca Opal. It's my total holy, holy grail of highlighters. I absolutely love it. So a little bit. on the apples of my cheeks, well, on my cheekbone. On my nose. And on the top of my lip. And then you do you and go ham if you want. I go ham. I just love looking pure glowy. Still feel like this foundation is a tad dark for my skin tone, but we're going to work with it. You can fix it. I mean, it's my first YouTube, so something's obviously not going to go smoothly. Might as well just be the full base. And I'm going to go in and finish my under eye. Okay, so I'm going to go back into my under eye, and I like my under eyes really dark. So I'm going to go in with my Lord and Berry um, Eye Coal. It's not going to come up there. Um, it looks like a lipstick and a lot of people say to me like what are you doing with that? But it goes on really really smoothly and I love it. So I'm just going to go right in here. My dog is not okay tonight. Right now that I've sorted her, I'm going to go in and do the other eye. So it's literally just a little 
or one soba. And then that stays on all night, it's not going to move anywhere. And I'm just going to use the same colours as I did up top underneath, the exact same brushes. So the first one being my Morphe M441. I'm just going to smoke out right underneath my eyes with the first colour that I used. And then with my Zoeva 227 brush and with my second colour. And I'm going to put that one closer to the lash line. And then to finish that off, I'm going to go in with a smudging brush, a smudging detailing brush. So it's this type of brush here, if it would focus, it's not going to focus. Just a smudging detailing brush and I'm going to go in with a black take off the excess and I'm going to go right tight into the lash line at the bottom. And then I'm just going to blend them back out, just using the same brushes and just making sure that it's all seamless. And then for highlight on my eyes, I'm just going to go in with a pencil brush and using the same highlighter as I did on my cheeks, my Becca Opal. I'm going to put some of that just underneath my brow bone, which will just make my brows stand out that little bit more. And then right in the tear duct as well. And then finishing your eyes off, I'm going to go in with mascara. And my favourite mascara is the Barry M, that's how I roll. I think it's a total dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash, and it's like a third of the price. So, bottom lashes first, and then into the top lashes as well. I'm just going to blend in the false lashes with your natural lash, making your lashes look even more natural. And that's the eyes done. So then, lips. I'm going to be using the Kiko lip liner, the pencil liner, and the shade um, 504. It's so quite a natural one. And I'm staying true to my lips, I don't want to overline my lips or anything. And then good old MAC Velvet Teddy over the top. And to finish it off, I'm going to go in with Honey Lip Gloss from Peaches and Cream. I'm just going to put a light little bit just over that. And that there, guys, is the final look. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you did, please, please give this video a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel. I hope i done a good job for my first YouTube video and I hope that you'll want more. <laughs> Thanks guys.